family seed of Jacob, right, and prophesy against his wicked country, man, right? Prophesy against all the nations that put our people in slavery, man, right? Because you got a wicked spirit in America right now. They get ready to celebrate so-called Easter, right? A wicked-ass demonic spirit, man, that's on, on this country right now, right? And many of our people partake in this uh, wicked holiday, man, right? That has nothing to do with this Bible, right? We are here for our people, so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, to lift them up, right, out of oppression, right? We are here to give our people the gospel in these last days, to teach our people, man, the right ways, right? Because America has deceived our people, right? America has led our people astray, right? When you celebrate Easter, you're celebrating a, a custom from the uh, from the Babylonians, man. Right? While you're sitting while you're sitting there cutting up your your your, your Easter ham, man, and eating your defiled food, man, you're, you're you're praising other gods, man, from other countries, man. Right? You're not praising the God of Israel, man. Right? The Bible says, man, learn not the ways of the heathen, man. Right? But our people don't read. Right? And part of that is our people don't know who they are in these last days. Yeah, our people don't know who they are in these last days, right? We're given all kind of bywords and proverbs that they put on our people, right? They call us Hispanic, right? They call us Native American, right? What's going on, brother? You believe in the Bible? Come, come chop it up with us, man, right? We're gonna be out here, right? They call us Native American. They call us Hispanic, right? They call us so-called African American. But where do our people actually go back to, right? What is our ancient tongue, right? What is our ancient language, right? What ancient uh, nation do our people go back to, right? There's only one race of people in this world that don't know who they are, right? And that's why it's so easy to put these foreign customs on our people. That's why it's so easy to teach our people the ways of the heathen, man, right? In the book of Jeremiah 10, it says, follow not the ways of the heathen, man. You got that? Right? The Lord said, learn not the ways of the heathen, man, in these last days, right? But our people, they don't read. Our people, they don't know their nationality. We have been discontinued from our heritage in these last days, man, right? So the, the Lord had to stir up the heart of the, of the prophets, man, and send servants out here to wake our people up in these last days, right? To give our people the good gospel. Read what you got. It's the book of Jeremiah, chapter 10, and verse 2. Thus said Yahweh, learn not the way of the heathen. What the Lord say? Learn not the way of the heathen. Hey, the Most High said, man, right? Learn not the way of the heathen, man, right? This this Sunday, man, our people's gonna be partaking in Babylonian customs, right? That all these other nations participate in, right? But the Bible says for the Israelites not to partake and not to learn the ways of the heathen, man. Our people gotta wake up, man, and smell the coffee in these last days, right? You're seeing all kind of famines break around on the earth, right? You got bridges collapsing, right? You got these entertainers getting destroyed in these last days, right? Didn't they just go over there to Russia and kill 150 people, man? Right? When are our people gonna wake up? Right? But that's our job, man. That's our job to come out here and prophesy and teach our people who they are in these last days. Right? Because once this thing's sealed up, man, the Lord's gonna destroy this place. Right? The Lord's gonna destroy America just like he destroyed all these other nations, man, that put our people in captivity. Right? So time is short. Right? You only have a, a set amount of time. Nobody knows when the Lord's gonna call come for the day of destruction, man, right? Nobody knows when the day of the Lord's gonna come, right? So you don't know when this place is gonna get destroyed, right? The Lord said you gotta wake up in these last days, right? Our people gotta fear the Lord, uh, the, the Lord of uh, Israel, man, right? Our people gotta fear the Lord of Jacob, right? The God of Jacob, right? The God of uh, Abraham and Isaac, right? Because the Bible says he created everything, man, right? And these other, these other so-called gods, man, the Bible said that they're idols, man, according to the Bible, man. So our people gotta wake up out of that sleep, right? Our people been asleep for too long, right? And nobody's gonna wake our people up, except for the men of the Lord, man, right? The servants of the Lord has gotta wake our people up and teach our people to fear the Most High God in these last days, right? Come back to the commandments, right? Have that faith in the Messiah, right? That he died for your sins, man, so you can be brought back into this covenant, man. Right? Give me uh give me you got Genesis 20 and 11. Give me uh give me Psalms chapter 1, 28, verse 1. Read what you got. This is the book of Genesis, chapter 20, verse 11. And Abraham said, Because I thought surely 
the fear of God is not in this place. Hey, what Abraham said? The fear of God is not in this place. Hey, I don't. When I come out here to Glenwood Avenue, man, I don't see the fear of the Most High, man. Right. Right. And if you know, if you if you know what the Bible says, man, fear the Lord, man, coincides with keeping these commandments. Right. Fear the Most High, Fear the Lord, man, coincides with, coincides with loving the Most High in these last days, man. Right. Fear is a good motivation, man. It's good motivation in these last days, man. That's why you don't go bungee jumping. That's why you don't jump off the cliffs. That's why you don't deep dive, right? Because of fear. The Lord said you got to fear the most high in these last days, man. That's your motivation, man, right? That's how you keep stuff in check, right? Because the Lord knows if you fear him, you're going to follow his ways, right? You're going to be obedient, right, to the, to the creator of heaven and earth, right? But I don't see the fear of the Lord when I come out here, man. I don't see our people fearing the most high God, man. Like I said, fear the Lord is keeping the commandments of the Lord, man. Right? Abstaining from all kind of evil, man. Right? All appearances of evil our people gotta abstain from. The Bible says we're a holy people, man. Right? We're not just we're not just uh what the world label us, right? We're not thugs, we're not gangbangers, right? We come from kings and princesses, man. Right? right? We come from a mighty nation, man. The Lord only chose one nation in the earth, man, right? And so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, this is who you descend from, right? But these other nations, they don't want to tell you that. They just want to walk up on Greenwood Avenue on stolen land that their forefathers stole from us, right? And have a good damn time, man. Enjoy your kingdom now, man, because this place is going to get destroyed, man. Right? Read that one more time, Kim. And Abraham said, because I thought, surely, the fear of God is not in this place. Hey, our great great grandfather Abraham said he didn't see the fear of the Lord, man, when he went into Egypt, man. Right? And we don't see the fear of the Lord in America, man. Right? Because they promote all kind of wickedness. They promote all kind of evil. Right? Our people gotta wake up and fear the Lord, man. Right? And that's following these commandments. That's being obedient to the most high, man. Right? The Bible says obedience is better than sacrifice, man. If you're obedient, you ain't got to make a sacrifice. You see that? But our people got to wake up in these last days, man. Right? Get away from your damn oppressive. Right? Start following these commandments to the best of your ability. Right? Start teaching, teaching your children the ways of the Lord in these last days, man. Right? Give me all Psalms chapter 128, verse 1. It's the book of Psalms chapter 128, verse 1. Blessed is every one that feareth the Lord. What the Bible said? Blessed is every one that feareth the Lord. Hey, it's a good thing to fear the Lord in these last days, man. Right. right. This is something that the Lord requires of you. Right? To fear the Lord. Right? Because these so-called Christian churches, man, they're lying to you. Right? If your pastor's telling you to celebrate Easter, he's wicked as hell, man. Right? Because these are pagan customs, man. Right? Easter is a pagan holiday, man. Right? You're supposed to be gearing up and get ready for Passover. Right? You're supposed to be gearing up, waiting for, uh, uh, getting ready for the Lord's Passover, man. When he saved your people out of Egypt. Right? You don't even understand the plagues that the Lord put on Egypt in these last days, man. Right? Look at the plagues the Lord put on Egypt, man. He put darkness over that place. Right? For the children of Israel. Right? That's why our people got to wake up, man. Our people got to wake up in these last days. Read your precept. This is the book of Exodus, chapter 20, and verse 3. Thou shalt not have no other gods before me. What the Bible say? Thou shalt have no other gods before me. Hey, and that's the thing, man. That's the spirit, because I was going to bring that out. Right? Give me all 1 Thessalonians, chapter 5, and give me verse uh, 21. Right? Because the Lord said, man, you're not supposed to have no other gods, man. Right? These other gods in the, in the world that man created, right? The Lord said that these are idols, man, right? They're things made with the, the, the hands of man. Silver, gold, right? Men made these things up, man, right? That's why Joshua said in the book of Joshua, he said, you're going you're gonna to fear the most high, man, or you're going to go back to the gods that you knew before the flood, man, right? All this stuff goes back to these gods that are, uh, the, the world made up, man, for our people. Come here, the Lord, uh, come here, the Lord of the Lord, brother. We are here for our people, man. Right? Joshua said out his mouth, he said, man, as for me and my family, man, we're going we're gonna to follow the Lord, man. We're going to praise the Lord in these last days. Right? 
because the Bible says, man, the Bible's, give me that uh, Ecclesiastes 1 and 9, right? The Bible says there's nothing new under the sun. So our people been transgressing, man. Our people been doing these wicked holidays, man. Our people been straying off, man, right? And that was the chief sin of our people, man, right? That, that was the chief sin of our people that put anger in the Lord's heart, man, right? Idolatry, right? If you want to stir up the Lord's wrath, man, just create, uh, just do, just partake in idolatry, man. Doesn't the Bible say the Lord is a jealous God, man? Right? And he can be jealous, man. He created everything you see, man. Right? This is why our people got to come back to the Lord, man. This is why our people can't partake in Christianity. Because it tells a bunch of lies. Right? All, all my, when I was younger, man, my people used to really be in T.D. Jakes, man. And look what happened to that cat. Look what happened to T.D. Jakes, man. Right? Yeah, man. He's hanging out on parties with Diddy, man. Is this who you get your doctor from? Right, right. Right? Joyce Myers. Right. right? David Jeremiah. Right? Uh, what's the cast name? Uh, Creflo. What's the one? Uh, white dude in uh, Houston? Kenneth Copeland. Kenneth. Uh, no, nah, I'm talking about the white dude with the mullet. Oh, Joe right. Olstein. Hey, hey, hey. We was talking about this last week, man. They found $600,000 on one of his walls, man. Right? And the plumber found it during construction. He said, give me my money back, man. Now, what the hell does a uh, so-called Christian pastor got $600,000 just sitting in his walls for, man? Right? When all the people in the congregation is poor and struggling. Make that make sense, man. Read what you got. Ecclesiastes 1 and 9. This is the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 1, verse 9. The things that have been, it is that which shall be. And that which is done is that which shall be done. There is no new thing under the sun. Hey, the Bible bears witness, man, that there is nothing new under the sun, man. Right? right? So all this other worship, it's not new, man. Our people been partaking in these things, man. Right? That's why we got to come out here and teach our people the right way. We got to teach our people, man, to come out of the ways of Babylon. Right? Because America is just a cesspool and a damn combination of all kind of wicked paganism, man. Right? America's not going to teach you the truth. Right? Your pastor has led you astray if he's going to have you sit down and celebrate Easter in these last days, man. Right? And our people got to read. Right? Give me uh, Isaiah 1 and 3. Right? Because our people don't even consider. Right? Our people are truly lost sheep. Right? Our people are lost sheep because they, they follow anything they're told. Right? The scripture says prove all things. Right? Look into your uh, your Bible, man, and, and 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 put it on the scales, man. Is this thing way up or not, man? Are we actually supposed to be participating in these in these wicked customs, man? Right? They look at you and say, "Oh, I'm celebrating Passover, man." They look at you and laugh, man. Well, you ain't Jewish, man. What you celebrating Passover for, right? But they'll celebrate Easter, man. That's madness, man. Our people gotta wake up in these last days, man. Read what you got. It's the book of First Thessalonians, chapter five. Verse 21, prove all things, hold fast that which is good, abstain from all appearance of evil. Hey, what the Lord say? Abstain from all appearance of evil. Hey, they don't even know, man, that, that these holidays, man, that our people participate in are evil, man, because they're taught that they're good things, right? Give me that Isaiah 5 and 20, right? Our people is taught that wickedness are good, right? And what's righteous, man, they say that's evil, man. That's how you can tell this place is, is Babylon, right? This place is Babylon, which means confusion, right? You got women holding hands with other women, right? The men got uh, feminine uh, sodomite spirits on them, right? Abortions at an all-time high, right? Our people got an evil eye towards each other. You see that? We got to wake our people up in these last days, man, right? Because the Messiah said you got to repent or you're going to perish, man, right? According to the Bible, man, the wages of sin are death, right? But they tell us the law is done away with, man, right? They tell us the law is done away with, but the, I don't read that in the Bible, right? And, you, and according to the law, you can't add words to the uh, scripture. You can't change the law uh, the, 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 the around, man, right? So our people got to wake up in these last days, man, and get out of that delusion state, man, right? Our people got to wake up and smell the coffee in these last days, right? Or the Lord said you're going to get destroyed. Read, read that, King. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 1, verse 3. The ox knoweth his owner, and the ass his master's crib. 
but Israel doeth not know, my people doeth not consider. Hey, the Bible says Israel do not know, man. Our people don't consider, man, right? Whatever you put in our people's face, they believe, man, right? Hey, your own family will look at you like you're crazy, man, when you tell them Easter's wicked, man, right? I ain't coming to the dinner on Sunday, right? Hey, how you putting your kids, man, on a bunny rabbit? Hey, and if you look at these pictures on Facebook, man, if you look at these pictures on social media, hey, you can read the kid's spirit. The kid be like, this is off as hell, man. Scared as hell. They be scared, right. right? The dude could be a pedophile. Right. He might be a damn drunk, right? right. right? Some weird bug out Edomite, man. You gonna put your, you going to the mall putting your kids on the damn, uh, on, on a big ass bunny rabbit, man. Right. Come on, man. This, hey, hey, America's like a damn cartoon, man. Right? America's like a, a episode of Looney Tunes, man. Bugs Bunny, man. Right? That's why we can't wait for the Lord to destroy this place, man. That's right. Because it's a bunch of lies and a bunch of wickedness, man. Right? It's like this place is one big ass fairy tale, man. Right? It's madness, man. Hey, uh, you got a precept? Give me that uh, Isaiah 5 and 20. Read what you got. This is book of Isaiah, chapter 13, verse 15. Everyone that is found shall be thrust through. And everyone that is joined unto them shall fall by the sword. Hey, you see that? You see that, man? Hey, they don't believe it, man. Right? But where's Egypt at today? Right? Where's Babylon? Right? Didn't the Lord do away with Persia? Right? All the ancient empires that lived back in the day that ruled, they all fell, man. Right? And the clock is ticking for America, man. That's why we have to come out here and teach our people good doctrine, man. Right? We're literally out here trying to wash our people up. Hey, y'all sisters got a minute for the word of God, man? Right. Y'all believe in the Bible? Come on, sis. Hey, come, come chop it up with us, sister. And we out here telling people that Easter is wicked. Right. Hey, hey, come here to uh, the words of the Lord, man. Right? Because we out here for y'all, man. The Lord summoned up our spirit, man, to send servants out here to wake our people up. Right? Because I love my nation, man. Right? And I, I don't want to see our people perish, man. Right? I don't want to see our people perish in these last days, man, right? But the scriptures uh, bears witness, man, that two-thirds of our people ain't going to make it, right? But how do we know who's the two-thirds, man? We got to try to wake them up in these last days, man, right? Hey, the Lord said, my sheep hear my voice, right? The Lord said, my sheep hear my voice, man, right? So we out here, we out here raising up the voice of the Lord, man, right? Hey, read what you got, because I... It's the book of Isaiah, chapter 5, verse 20. It says, Woe unto them that call evil good and good evil, that put darkness for light and light for darkness. Hey, the Lord said, Woe unto them that call evil good and good evil, man. Right? Easter is something that you call good that is really evil, man. Right? Crazy cat, Why are you celebrating St. Patty's Day? Why are you celebrating Easter, man? This has nothing to do with your customs, man. You should be gearing up for uh, getting ready for some land, man. Right? You should be gearing up for that solemn assembly, man. Right? In the memorial where the Lord saved your people out of Egypt, man. Right? Right, exactly, man. The unleavened bread, man. Right? The Lord said, gather yourself together in these last days, man. Right? But our people, man, they just love pleasure. Right? And this was uh, prophesied, man, right? That our people in these last days would just love pleasure. Right? right? They would just love feeling good in these last days. Right? Hey, the Lord said you can't drink from the cup of devils and drink from the cup of the Lord, man. Matter of fact, give me that. 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 21. Right? You can't drink from the cup of devils and drink from the Lord's cup, man. Right? Give me all uh, uh, Colossians 2 and 8. Right? Because our people have been taught the wrong things in America, man. Right? Our people have been taught the wrong philosophies. Right? Our people have been taught the vain opinions of these damn heathens, man. Right? Our people got to wake up in these last days, man. Right? Our people got to wake up, man, and get out of that spirit of evil, man. Hey, the Bible says abstain from all appearances of evil, man. Right? But our people don't know what evil is, man. Right? Because they've been brainwashed, right? They've been taught that uh, what's wicked is good, man, and what's good is uh, wicked, man, right? The Lord said you got to repent in these last days, man, and wash yourself up, man. 
Put on that new garment, man. You see that? Read what you got, Amar. This is the book of Colossians, chapter 2, verse 8. Beware, lest, lest any man spoil you through philosophy and through vain, through vain deceit after, to, after traditions of men, after the rudiments of the world and not after Christ. You see that? The Lord said, be careful, man. Because men will try to uh, try to deceive you, man, with vain philosophy, man, right? With off doctrine, man, and not not the philosophy of Christ, not the doctrine of Christ, man, right? And Christ was celebrating Passover. Christ was uh, dealing with feast of dedication, man. Hey, show me in this Bible, man, where Christ said, "Celebrate my death, man," right? Hey, and if you notice, man, all these celebrities got crosses around their necks, man, right? How you got crosses around your neck? But you're dealing with all kind of evil, man. Right? Hey, if my big brother died, man, if my big brother died in a car crash, man, I wouldn't put no car around my neck. Right? These are all, uh, these are vain idols, man. Right? These are things that people worship, man. Right? You got all these people out here wearing crosses on their neck, but playing the damn devil, man. Right? All people don't believe in this Bible, man. They believe you can come out here, sin all you want, and then the Lord's going to forgive you, man, right? But you don't know when the day of the Lord's going to come, man. That's why you got to repent now, man, and abstain from all appearances of evil, right? Right, man. All our people want to come out here and do is have a hot girl summer, right? All our, all our men want to come out here and do is wear out the women, man, right? And our women want to walk around like harlots, man, right? And we're not going to water down the, Lord, the word of the Lord, man. We're going to tell you, thus saith the Lord, man. Hey, did Noah water down, uh, water down the words of the Lord, man? Right? And nobody followed Noah, man. Right? This, ain't for, this, this message ain't going to be for everybody. This is what you call tough love, man.